what's good everybody thank you for checking me out this is a course simpson i want to ask you a question are you very much okay with the situation you find yourself right now or you want more if you want more do you want more or society expect you to want more i try my best to answer some of these questions by myself but it's kind of like um, not easy to answer them because yes i would want more yes i would want to do this i would want to do that but does society affect my decisions of what i need or what i want to do with my life this is just one of the random videos that i want to do just to talk about how i'm going through what i'm going through what i'm feeling right now and what I feel society is making some of us do, especially with wanting more or with doing more. So I want you to put it up as a comment and just let me know what you feel about, I mean, this, some of these questions. You know, I'm currently not in Ghana. Uh, I have, I get a lot of questions. People asking me, Echo, when are you coming back? Echo, do you want to stay? Echo, what's up? But the answer is, I need to figure that out. And you need to figure that out to yourself. I mean, when it comes to asking yourself questions about what you want to do with your life, you need to figure that out. You are the only person who can figure that out. And that is why I'm sitting here by myself, just enjoying the beautiful sun from up there. And I've been working in the sun the whole day because, like, uh, when I go here, I've not really, I've had the sun, but I miss the sun in Ghana, you know. Like I said, there are a lot of things that is going through my mind, and I don't know if society is playing a role. Now, when I say society is playing a role, um, as an individual, I may be content with a lot of things that I have, okay? Um, I work. I could say maybe I was earning, let's say, uh, $200 a month as a teacher in Ghana. Some may earn more or even less. Some... I mean, depending on the, um, the dollar rate right now, I could say around $200 a month. And I know that money is, is, like, is like chicken change for someone here. Maybe in the U.S., in Canada, U.K., I mean, in Europe. I mean, other places, $200 a month is nothing to write home about. But do we always have to compare the currencies here and the currencies in the motherland do we always have to compare well yes because uh we are all in this world one of my, my brother was saying something like how come god created the whole world and some people have decided to live in abject poverty and some have decided to live otherwise you know like living in a country where the system pretty works I mean, you wake up in the morning and then you know that, okay, I can do this to achieve this in a certain country. But in other countries, you wake up in the morning and you're trying to find um, a destination to what you want to do. And you may never get to that destination because system doesn't work. Uh, the people don't have this mentality. One thing that I think I've learned about Africa, I may be wrong, is that we don't teach people, we don't teach ourselves how to value things. Yeah. We don't really teach in the school why you should value a dollar. How do you value a city? How do you value a naira? Like, it is something that is not taught in Africa. That is how I see it. This is per my perception, all right? So, if, if, you're, if, you, if, if you're not educated on how to add value to yourself, value to the things that you earn at the end of the day, you misuse it. And when you misuse it, you go back and blame people in a certain position that they are the cause of you not being able to get what you want or you not being able to get to the destination that you want. So society really plays a role when it comes to what you want and what you need. And... I think I've answered this myself, that um, it, it may be you, you, you may want to do things the way you want to do it, but 
society plays a bigger role. I don't know if you agree with me because, you know, somebody will say, okay, I'm in Ghana, I earn $200 a month, and I drive, I pay my rent, I mean, I buy fuel, like, almost all the time, I eat, I take care of my family, you know, I'll go out with the boys, we chill out, we drink a little bit, like, we go out to parties, we do all these things. Am I okay with that? Personally, am I okay with that? If I am okay with that, then I don't need to think of what society has for me or what society thinks about me. But at the end of the day, society creates a standard of living for everybody. That is why I feel like people want more in life. You know, like I made mention earlier on, if I have $200 a month and that is what I earn every month in Ghana and I can live okay, why do I have to travel you know, to the West, or why do I have to find a way to get more? Because society is telling you that for you to live a better life, you need to have a fridge in your house, and you need to stock it with a lot of meat. You need to stock it with a lot of um, um, drinks. Society expect that if, if, if you want to live a standard life, then you should have a big TV in your hall or in your um, living room. You know, society expect that uh, when you're building, you should have your own washroom and toilet, like, in suit. I mean, these are things that society put in your head that if, if you're not careful, you would want to do more. You would want to find a way to do more. And that is how come people, I feel people travel, people leave their comfort zone. Does, does the word comfort zone even exist? Why should, why should somebody say, move from your comfort zone. What do you mean by move from a comfort zone? If I am here and I'm happy, comfortable, and I'm doing what I have to do without affecting anybody negatively, taking care of my family, my kids, why do we tell somebody to leave that comfort zone and go elsewhere to look for more? But like I said, you need to figure that out. Nobody can figure that out for you. I mean, it was like being here, for like two weeks, I'm enjoying the sun. Thank you, God, for giving me the sun. And I heard that very soon the snow is going to fall. And maybe I'm jet up. I'm going to run back to Ghana. You know, I'm just here for some time. But like I said, there are a lot of things that is happening in the world right now that you need to figure out what to do. People really can help you with figuring it out. They may advise you. They may suggest something to you. But at the end of the day, you got to figure it out. And one thing that is also getting closer to someone like me is age. You know, sometimes I sit back and then I ask myself, I'm getting to a certain age and I feel like I don't have anything tangible to point out to and say, you know, all my life, this is what I have. I can't say I have a car, no. Cars are just, everybody has a car. I mean, I'm trying to find out anything tangible that I can point to and say, this is what I've been able to achieve. I mean, let's not talk about going to school, getting a degree, getting a certificate and everything. That is there, but what tangible thing can you point out to right now and say, this is what I've achieved. This is what, if, if, if I go to bed and I don't wake up the next day, my kids are gonna be like, this is what my daddy left for us. Something tangible, you know? It makes life a little bit hard when, you get, when you're getting older. I may not be that old, you know? I remember last year I was going through um, stress. I was stressed out last year. Um, I was going through this thing called uh, midlife crisis, midlife career crisis, something like that. Because I was just, like I've been teaching for um, 16 years straight. And we've done, and, and I've done a lot for the school, for the students, you know, for the community. I mean, for Ghana Education Service, we've done a lot for, you know, 
for the past 16 years. But the question has to be, but what about me? What do, I, what do I do for me? When do I get my time for me? It's, it's a question that when you get into a certain age, maybe 40 years, you feel like, what, what are you doing? Because, I mean, you, you spend your youthful age getting to 40, and then after 40, you don't expect um, the, the people around you to call you youth again. No. You're, you're not a youth again. I mean, you're getting older and you start to look at things differently and you need to figure out what to do for you. What do you do for you? And, 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 and other thing is, you know, living in a society, a community, a country where you, you have gone through the struggle of, of having a good life or having a better life, you know, I missed the sweetness and the sad part of it. And you thinking that, okay, I have kids who would grow in that country and you see things like things don't go well within that country and then you're scared, like, what are my kids going to do? Sometimes I, I sit down and I ask myself, like, what are my kids going to do? Like, what are, what are my kids going to do as, at, at a certain age? What work are they going to do? Where are they going to live? I mean, these are a lot of questions that run through my head, but I need to figure that out. I'm the only person that can figure that out. It's crazy. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. I'm loving the sun already. Um, it's just on my face. I wish I could just gather some, you know, put it in my bag and take it home. And then when the snow start, I will just, you know, start using it a little bit. It is what it is. Thank you very much for checking me out. It's a beautiful day. Have a beautiful day and try and figure out what to do. There are lots to do, but you have to figure it out. And you're the only person who can figure that out. Peace out.